Hey guys, I uh, hope you're doing well today. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over some some of the advanced training on your Autoblog niche profit sites. Now, before we get into that, I do want to mention something because this is very important um, uh, information, something you need to know. Because I really want everyone uh, that purchased these um, these packages um, to take it full advantage of what you have. These are powerful sites, and there are many different ways you can make money with them. Now, I have several customers that have been purchasing packages from me for quite a while now, and they are making a lot of money um, utilizing these packages. And you can do that too. Now, w one of the ways, one of the best ways or uh, quickest way to make great money with these packages with these websites is what we do is uh, we put these sites on a domain. So the first thing is we're going to get a domain for the site. And what we want to try to do is get a .com domain. So we get our domain, and I recommend Namecheap. That's where I get all of my domains. Um, and once we get our domain, we install the site on our .com domain. We set up our site. We put all of our affiliate information in. And what we do is we go ahead and start adding um, articles to your site. What I like to do is have um, my customers is we want to add, try to add five um, new articles to the site right away. Now usually when I'm preparing one of these sites, depending on the niche of, that the site is in, um, uh, if it's a certain niche, we'll write the articles ourselves, but we'll have a, um, a good professional article writer, write, writer art, uh, write the articles for us. So we have five good solid articles written for us that are um, niche targeted. And what we do is we do the keyword research um, for that article, whatever that article is targeting, we want to target, um, we want to do the keyword research and then target those keywords in the article, in each article. Now, after you have those five articles, um, those initial articles written and added to your site, we can start adding maybe one article a week, um, depending on your budget. Now, I'm going to go, this is kind of a quick overview of the process we do, and we can go through that more in detail later. Um, but now we start adding maybe one article a week. Again, we're, we're, before we add that article, before we have the article written, we do the keyword research for it and decide on um, what keywords we're going to target for those for those um, articles, maybe one article a week. And once we get some articles on our site, we start driving traffic to our site. And once we get some traffic going to our site and maybe made a couple of affiliate sales um, with the site, then we can start I'm looking at flipping the site and guys let me tell you you can make a good amount of money doing this this is very profitable so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be during this process we're going to be uh, of course making uh, affiliate sales earning commissions off our site and then we're going to be looking at making um, uh, income flipping the site so once we get our first site ready we're talking about having our articles on, having um, articles maybe once a week, uh, once every three days, whatever it is, whatever your budget is, and we have it ready, we can add it to Flippa. Now, just to give you an ID, idea of the kind of money that you can make selling your sites that you buy in my packages, I'm going to show you just real quick. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one of the sites on Flippa, um, and these are niche targeted, usually Amazon affiliate sites or uh, Amazon and Clickbank affiliate sites, just like the sites you buy in my packages. So we'll just take a look at one. Now this particular site is about air compressors and power tools, um, but I'm really focused on air compressors. Okay. Now this site is selling for $1,500, and this particular um, seller has many sites on on for sale on Flippa. Now the good thing about these sites, they don't have to be; they can be new sites. Okay. This particular one is eight months old. Um, but they can be uh, brand new as well, and they still sell. So once you get your first site listed, you start your next site. Now this business model is very lucrative, and you can really take advantage of the sites that you buy in my packages and make a great income flipping these sites. Okay, I just wanted to mention this because um, there's many ways you can make money um, with the packages you purchase. Um, so I just want to make sure that everybody is, understands that there is um, a lot of potential um, in making money, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get back to um, some of the advanced training um, in your sites. 
Now let's go ahead and do some of the basic setup now. Some of you that have purchased these uh, packages before know some of the basic setup steps as far as adding your affiliate ID, adding your uh, site title and tagline, things like that. But we're going to go ahead and go through that. But if you already know how to do that, you can skip forward. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started adding our affiliate ID. So basically what we want to do is come down to tools and we're going to go to search and replace. And we're going to scroll down and check the first five boxes here. Okay, we're going to scroll to the bottom and where it says search for, for our Amazon affiliate ID, you're going to type in your ID-20, okay? Make sure you type this in correctly. And then where it says replace with, you're going to put in your Amazon affiliate ID. Okay, once you do that, just hit go. Okay, so once you do that, your all of your posts, all of your posts, your product posts have your Amazon affiliate ID in them, and then also some of your um, in-post ads. And I'll show you that um, here in just a bit. Okay, so we're going to go back and do the same thing. We're going to scroll down, and where it says search for, you're going to put in your CB ID and replace with your ClickBank. Um, now it's called the username, ClickBank username and you're going to put that here and once you do that you're going to hit go okay next we're going to go and take a look at some of the um, banner ads as in your header banner ad your sidebar banner ad these are clickbank um, I, or clickbank banners okay and then we're going to take a look at our um, amazon um, related products ad so what we're going to do is we're going to go under appearance and we're going to go to widgets now our first widget area is what's called the primary normal widget area and this particular widget area is on single post or in single page um, widget area. The next widget area which is our home page widget area which is this um, sidebar here for your home page. These are these widgets. First, let's take care of our primary normal widget area, which shows up on single post. Okay, so our we're going to take a look at this ad here. Now, on each of your sites, on some of your sites, instead of having this particular widget, you will have an image widget that has the actual banner ad. Let's go ahead and take care of this uh, banner ad here. So we're going to scroll down to where it says AdSense code. You can put any code here. We can drop this down a little bit. Um, where it says your CBID, you're just going to replace that with your M or your uh, ClickBank affiliate ID or username, and then click Save. Okay. Next, we're going to go to our homepage normal widget area, which again is this sidebar area. And this particular ad here, we're going to open that up and we're going to do the same thing. Just replace your CBID with your uh, ClickBank username ID and make sure to click save. Next, we're going to open this text widget. This text widget contains the code for your Amazon affiliate um, related products um, widget. Now, when you open this up, you'll notice you'll this right here. And what we're going to do is click text. We're going to scroll down and where it says your ID-20, just replace that with your Amazon affiliate ID and click save. Now I'm going to switch over to the strength training blog and I'm going to show you where the image widgets, you'll see an image widget. So you can um, open this up and then you're going to have a your ClickBank uh, affiliate link for this uh, banner image. And again, just replace your CBID with your ClickBank ID. Okay, so some of them have images and some have the actual code okay let's go ahead and take a look at the header banner ad so for that we're going to go ahead and go down to where it says mag news we're going to click now there's a little um trick you have to do whenever it starts loading this options page just you can stop that go ahead and click general once left click general once and then go up and just refresh the page. That will load the options page correctly. This doesn't happen for everyone all the time, but if it does, um, just do what I did there. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down to banner settings. And here we have the top banner ad, which is this ad. Okay, you're going to have one on each site. 
And where it says AdSense code, again, we're going to go ahead and uh, put in your ClickBank username ID here. And just make sure that you put that, put that in correctly. On some sites, you're also going to have a bottom banner ad. And you'll have the same code here, the same type of code here, and you're going to replace your CV ID with your ClickBank username ID. And once you've done that, make sure to click Save. Now, additional ads that you have are going to be what's called in-post ads. Okay, so we have this um, text or content or context ad from Amazon, and then we also have related products at the end of each um, post. Now, your ID will already be in once you when we did the previous um, search and replace. Your ID will be in here. We've already done that, but let me go ahead and show you where those are at. Okay, we're going to go to Auto Content and Settings. Okay, once you go on this settings page, and I apologize, you will have to put your um, ID in these widgets for this particular site, for these particular sites. So where it says add settings, you're going to replace your ID-20 with your Amazon affiliate ID, and then on the bottom add code, you're going to do the same thing. Okay, once you put your Amazon affiliate ID in, make sure to click save changes. Now let's go ahead and address our menu just real quick sometimes you may have to edit your menu as far as your home link okay so let's go ahead and edit this menu or take a look at it and show you where you might edit the home link okay so we're gonna go under appearance and then you're gonna go into menus and we're gonna be taking a look at our main menu which is primary navigation you'll see that you have a the home menu item you want to make sure it should be a custom link. You want to make sure that your home address or your home domain is here. If for some reason it did not update, make sure to just edit this with your domain name and then click Save. Next, let's take a look at adding a logo. Under Appearance, we're going to go and click on Customize. We're going to go down and click on Mag News again. And again, we'll go ahead and do our trick here. We'll go ahead and stop this, left click general once, and then refresh the page. Okay, under our general settings, we can go down to where it says logo, and then you can um, add your logo here. While we're here in our theme options area, let's go ahead and take a look at our homepage setup. Now your homepage setup is, is created using what's called news boxes. We're gonna click on homepage. This area gives you a preview of the actual areas and um, what they look like. So under left area one, here is our uh, boxes that set up the content for our home page. So box one is a recent post um, box. If you open that up, we are showing featured articles. Now you notice these are all highlighted in blue except featured. So understand that we're excluding all the categories except the posts that are in that category. And then that's what these articles are, our featured articles. Our next box is another recent post box and we're showing our CrossFit products, which is this area here. Then we have another box here. And then in the wide area, we're showing our video blog, which is here. Now, as you probably know, under settings, we can go to general and put in our site title and tagline. You can do that here. You can put in your um, email and then make sure to click save. That will take care of some of the basic setup steps on your sites. In the next video, we'll go over um, your auto content campaigns um, in the settings and setting up your campaigns, um, turning them off and on and so forth. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video.